What is going on guys? This is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video and tonight's video is going to be a short one. I don't plan to stay on the topic because I know most of you guys already know that I hate skill based matchmaking, but I just wanted to make this video in particular because I feel like that I ghosted the community because of that one reason. Now you guys know I was very excited for Cold War. I wanted Cold War to be the second coming of Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops is my favorite Call of Duty of all time and that is the most fun I had ever on a Call of Duty game from years and years and years upon it being out of the life cycle even it being on the Xbox One backwards compatibility sometimes I still get on there and play it because I really enjoy Black Ops now I thought Cold War was going to be basically the same I know I had my hopes high uh, it was the pandemic of course and I just wanted this game to be just like Call of Duty Black Ops and I just had it in my mind that hey Treyarch cannot mess this up because they already have the blueprints for this game now I'm gonna show you guys the stats because I've been playing the game behind the scenes the seven months that I haven't uploaded I've been playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War I just haven't uploaded because I feel like if I'm not enjoying something I'm not gonna have the passion or the connection to upload YouTube videos. It's just like being at a job that I don't like and I'm just putting on a smiley face for the customer. That is not me. If I don't like something, I'm just gonna drop it immediately. That's just how I am. That's just how my personality is. If I'm not feeling it, I'm just gonna drop it. Even in the early stages of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, even in the beta, skill-based matchmaking was a huge concern for the community it was trending every day people hated it pro cod players hated it a lot of people hated skill-based matchmaking but it is still in the game now i know activision is not going to get rid of the the algorithm it's just not going to happen so that makes concern for future call of duties because if i'm an above average player i mean my stats are not great they're not like scump or you know any other cod player but i can say that i'm above average uh, above average call of duty player now when i play most of the games that i'm in it is ridiculous how competitive it is and that's where rank play comes in skill-based matchmaking should be very high in rank play and in public lobbies we should have lobby balancing but no, it just seems like skill-based matchmaking is so strict in pubs that mo I might be I might get tossed a bone every day if I play it seven days a week. There's going to be one time that I get one bot lobby, literally, where nobody's really playing. People are like chilling. They're playing like how they played back 10 years ago on COD 4. They're, they don't really know what they're doing. But after that one game, it is complete hell. And it's mentally exhausting. It is mentally draining to play Call of Duty when you have this type of competitiveness in public lobbies. Public lobbies is meant to be fun for you to use different weapons and not just meta weapons just to keep up with the competition in the public lobbies. That is not how Call of Duty was ran or how it used to play. That is bonkers to me because when you have this skill-based matchmaking system like it is now, I mean, it's probably been in Call of Duty for a very long time. We just haven't felt it like we feel it with these current Call of Duties, right? And we understand that we got to protect the people that are playing this game maybe one hour a week. We understand that we want to protect those guys because those are the most vulnerable. But to be totally honest, why wasn't I protected in COD 4 when I was getting my shit pushed in going 0 and 60 and 0 and 80 to learn this game? What happened to the learning curve of video games? Why protect people to entice them to spend money because they're feeling good on the game? That to me, I might have a different point of view like everybody else, different from everybody else. But honestly, that's just how I feel. And that's no disrespect at all. But I feel like now every every new player to any game, any FPS game that has skill based matchmaking won't have to learn the game. They could just sit there, play one hour a day, you know, spend a couple dollars and they're ha and they're happy. But for the people that are actually 
taking their time playing this game, trying to learn it, trying to get good, trying to get those stats, they get punished. That doesn't make no sense. We should have more incentive in multiplayer if we're going to keep skill-based matchmaking the way it is. We should get rewarded way more. We should have exclusive items way more because of our rank or just kill death ratio or score per minute or win loss ratio. We should get rewarded way more for this system. And that's just how it should be. Playing COD now feels draining, mentally draining, not fun at all. Even with friends, it's not fun. I maybe had one good night on Cold War this whole time it's been out. One good night with friends where it's just fun, no complaining, people are just having fun. That is crazy to me because we used to have fun on COD every night. What happened? This is this is crazy to me because I play COD for fun. I make videos for fun. I don't, I, this is not my main salary. I don't do this for money. I don't do this to kiss people's ass. I don't do this just, just because. I do this because I love Call of Duty and I want the game to strive in the best way possible. And that's what I want. And I feel like skill-based matchmaking is hurting this game. Even for the future of Call of Duty, I feel like skill-based matchmaking can turn people away and make people play other games. And that's just what's gonna happen if COD 2021 is the same. People are gonna have options this time. So if this skill-based matchmaking cannot be addressed, it's going to be a problem. And that's just how it is. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. And a lot of you guys stopped playing Call of Duty because of that, because of the skill-based matchmaking. You just wanna grind camos and challenges and have a good time with friends. But it seems like that casual Call of Duty is gone. So if Activision can find it in their soul to fix this system we understand we got rid of supply drops and we got hit with skill-based matchmaking we understand that but we have to meet a middle ground with this system or algorithm whatever you want to put put it some people are going to put it on the back burner but skill-based matchmaking to me will always be the front runner always always that is going to determine my fun in a call of duty game and it's not just to to beat up on noobs and to, to trash other casual players. I just like to have fun, you know? Even the stats, even the stats that I have, I'm getting put in like crazy lobbies. So I'm not just here to, to shit on people. I don't reverse boost, you know? I got a couple nukes without reverse boosting, but I'm running out of time. And this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video. And if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate that. But other than that, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video. Please like and subscribe and comment ideas below. And I am out. Peace.